Smith on third baseman. Cue ball. Pitcher, Paul. First and second, Banzai. And pitcher and catcher, Scotty. Your bad boy is half pint. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the rest of the Cincinnati Red Stockings. Your umpire for today's game, Old Man. Okay, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the playing of our national anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, welcome to the Vintage Baseball Classic at Fifth Third Field. Ladies and gentlemen, if you see a nice player hit from either side, it's customary to give a hoorah and let folks know you've appreciated what just happened. Dragons fans, the rules have changed due to baseball over the years, and it's evolved as a sport. Here are a few of the rules the way they were played in the beginning. The umpire will only make calls of fair or foul on struck balls, 
indicate when a pitcher is balked or will weigh in on the field plays when a player cannot settle on happened without help. Also, a batted ball is determined fair or foul by where it touches the ground first. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, if you see a nice player hit from either side, it's customary to give a hoorah. Once again, welcome today to the Vintage Baseball Classic. A few more of the old time rules we're experiencing today. First, the bases are 90 feet and cannot be run without a runner being tagged out. So in other words, you can't run over the base or you may be out. The pitcher stands 45 feet from home plate. Batters can be put out one of three ways by a batted ball being caught on the fly, a batted ball being caught on one bounce, or by striking out. Cincinnati Red Stockings were the first team to wear knicker pants. The reason why they wore the short pants is that it's easier to wash a pair of stockings than wash out a pair of knickers. The old English Z on the crest of the uniforms was asymmetric in design, which is very modern for that time period. These would iron horses play at the Eastwood Metro Park. Back in 1860, the area was woods between the Mad River and Lake Erie Railroad. The iron horses wear old-fashioned blue jeans and engineer hats to reflect the presence of the railroad, railroad in the Dayton area back in the 1800s, which moved passengers and goods to various parts of Ohio and beyond.
Fans back then, the ground ball was referred to as a daisy cutter. You can imagine why. Back then, they would say, strike to the line. Or in other words, player step in the batting box. Dragons fans, welcome to the Vintage Baseball Classic tonight at Fifth Third Field, featuring the Cincinnati Red Stockings and the Eastwood Iron Horses. Today's game is a step back into time to how the game of baseball used to be played at its start back in the 1800s. We'd like to let you know that the terms single, double, and triple that we know today didn't appear until the 1880s. Instead, players made their first, second, and third. Errors in the early days of baseball were referred to as a muff. If an inning was scoreless, it was called a whitewash.
Back in the day, the bat was referred to as a willow. If a batter or a striker hit a high fly ball, it was called a sky ball. When a team gets to three outs, it's called side out. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are just making your way into the ballpark today, we'd like to welcome you to the Vintage Baseball Classic and Fifth Third Field, featuring the Cincinnati Red Stockings versus the Eastwood Iron Horses. Today's game is a step back in time to how the game of baseball used to be played at its start back in the 1800s.
gentlemen, welcome to the Vintage Baseball Classic tonight at Fifth Third Field. The rules of baseball have changed a bit over the years as it's evolved as a sport. Here are a few of the rules and the way they were played in the beginning. The umpire, which tonight is old man, will only make calls of fair or foul on struck balls. Indicate when a pitcher has balked or will weigh in on field plays when players cannot settle on what happened without help. A batted ball is determined fair or foul by where it touches the ground first. Hey fans, if you see a nice play or hit from either side, it's very customary back in the 1800s to give a hoorah and let folks know you've appreciated what just happened. Hey fans with a run score, let's give them a big hoorah! Hoorah! Dragons fans, welcome to the Vintage Baseball Classic and Fifth Third Field tonight, featuring the Cincinnati Red Stockings versus the Eastwood Iron Horses. Today's game is a step back in time to how the game of baseball used to be played at its start back in the 1800s. Some of the rules from back in the day, 
A batted ball is determined fair or foul by where it touches the ground first. Bases are 90 feet. It cannot be overrun without a runner being tagged out. The pitcher stands 45 feet from home plate. As you may have noticed, batters can be put out one of three ways by a batted ball being caught on a fly, a batted ball being caught on a bounce, or by striking out. Dragons fans, welcome to the Vintage Baseball Classic at Fifth Third Field, featuring the Cincinnati Red Stockings versus the Eastwood Iron Horses. Today's game is a step back in time to how the game of baseball used to be played at its start back in the 1800s. Cincinnati Red Stockings were the first team to wear knicker pants 
The reason they wore the short pants is that it's easier to wash a pair of stockings than to wash out a full pair of knickers. The old time English tea on the crest of the uniforms was asymmetric in design, which was very modern for that time period. These were iron horses played at the Eastwood Metro Park back in 1860. That area was woods between the Mad River and Lake Erie Railroad. The Iron Horses wear old-fashioned blue jeans and engineer hats to reflect the presence of the railroad in the Dayton area back in the 1800s, which moved passengers and goods to various parts of Ohio and beyond. Dragons fans, welcome to the Vintage Baseball Classic and Fifth Third Field, featuring the Cincinnati Red Stockings versus the Eastwood Iron Horses. Today's game is a step back in time to how the game of baseball used to be played, and it started back in the 1800s. Back then, a ground ball was referred to as a daisy cutter. You can imagine why. Back then, they would also say, striker to the line. Or in other words, player, step into the batting box. The term single, double, and triple didn't appear until 1880s. Instead, players made their first, second, and third. And our last one for this moment, errors in the early days of baseball were referred to as a muff.
Fans, one of the greatest parts of this game, back in the 1800s, was the sportsmanship. And if you see a nice play or hit from either side, it's very customary to give a very loud hurrah. And then folks know you've appreciated what you just saw happen. Ladies and gentlemen, our umpire for today is affectionately known as Old Man. You will notice the only time an umpire makes a call is on fair or foul balls on struck balls, indicated when a pitcher has balked or weigh in on a field play when the players cannot settle on what happened without help. A batted ball is determined fair or foul by where it touches the ground first. Bases are 90 feet apart and could not be overrun without a runner being tagged out.
Dragons fans, welcome to the Vintage Baseball Classic tonight at Fifth Third Field. Featuring the Cincinnati Red Stockings versus the Eastwood Iron Horses. Today's game is a step back in time to how the game of baseball used to be played at its start back in the 1800s. We hope you enjoyed tonight's game. This will be our last half inning. Hoorah! Hoorah! Ladies and gentlemen, that ends tonight's Vintage Baseball Classic and Fifth Third Field, featuring the Cincinnati Red Stockings and the Eastwood Iron Horses, as is customary. When you see something great, you yell, hurrah, let's give them a big hurrah. Dragons fans, be sure to visit the Eastwood Iron Horses at the table by the main gate to meet our vintage baseball players, as well as snag some photos and autographs. Fans, if you saw something you didn't understand tonight during this vintage baseball game, the players will be roaming the ballpark during the Dragons game. Feel free to ask them some questions or snag an autograph or photo. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, another hoorah! The shark bait has such teeth there And it shows them pearly white Just a jackknife has old Maggie Heath, baby And it keeps it uh, out of sight